Good day folks, Photo Bob here. Hey, I got something uh, I want to try to get this onto a video quickly tonight so you all can uh, see it. Hey ladies, um, this would make a great gift for a husband who likes to make firewood uh, or kids. Uh, this would make a great gift for your father or mother if she cuts firewood. Uh, don't want to uh, let the ladies out on this one because I think it's great. So I'm done with the chalk. Um, it's cheap. It's um, but you have to replace it. It breaks. It gets lost. You got to uh, remember to bring it with you, and you got to remember to bring the next thing I'm, I've got here uh, also. But what I want to talk to you tonight about is an American-made product called AccuMark and this is it AccuMark yeah, that's the correct way you can read the brand AccuMark I got a 16 inch version they have them AccuMark makes these markers in various lengths that are fixed or you can get them that have a uh, a lock in the middle and you can extend them and shorten them. I decided to go with a fixed 16 inch length. I think it's a little sturdier construction and I hope I get this done before the rain comes. The thing that's really cool about this is the magnet on the back. It's a rare earth magnet. It's very strong and be careful when you use it. So what I want to talk about first is how you attach it to the to the uh, chainsaw. I read through the instructions right here and want to go over a few things before I start using it and then I'm going to demonstrate it. So, but this is just an initial evaluation or review. It's I'm going to try to do a follow up in the next couple of days. We'll see how that works out. Promises, promises. So I just happen to have my MS-291 steel chainsaw here. And I'm going to show you uh, the proper way to attach this according to AccuMark. Now, this can be attached to either side of the chainsaw. Now, you notice I used the marker side. Um, you attach it with the magnet but I'm just showing you that it could be on either side and what the most important thing I think is you want to have the chalk uh, the saw shut down and the brake the chain brake engaged and what you're supposed to do is install this at a 45 degree angle and bring it up so don't just let it slam on there because it can break the magnet. This is a warning that they give you. The proper way to install this is to bring it down at a 45 degree angle. You can feel a little bit of magnetic force there, but not a lot. And then rock it down. Now, and you want to do it so that the, uh, the rod is up and the loop is down. This is going to go into your kerf of your cut. To remove it, you do the same thing. Saw powered off, chain brake engaged. Grab it by the base, rock it up, and pull it off. Don't just... This magnet is very strong and therefore very difficult to just pull straight off. In fact, it might be impossible. So what you want to do is rock it, and then pull it off. But again, power the saw down and then remove it. Let's go over how you use the AccuMark. So the AccuMark is not intended to be left on the saw while you make the cut through the hole or through the log. So let me demonstrate here. We're not gonna start the saw for this demo. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to the end of your log and put the uh, round marker at the end of the log and make your first cut. You're only going to cut in maybe a half inch at the most. You're going to move it down 
stick the round marker into the kerf of that mark that you cut into it and then make your next kerf cut to mark the next length and so on and so forth until you have the log marked. Before you start cutting through the logs, you want to shut the saw down, stop the chain, use the chain brake, and remove the accu mark. Restart your saw and then do it. Maybe if you had two saws, that might be a good option too. You could just use one saw for marking and a second saw for cutting. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be cutting from this end because this end is not squared off and they recommend squaring off the log before you start using the Accurite. I'm sorry, it's not Accurite, it's Accumark. Remove the accu mark. my tape measure 16 inches 16 inches right on the money All right, folks, all you professionals out there, you know what to do. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, share this with a friend, and leave a comment down below if you'd like. That being said, we're going to wrap this up, but get on out here. Cheers.